The following mandatory training video will outline information about Jersey Community Unit School District's laptop deployment. This video will fulfill the parent training requirement of our laptop deployment process. As with all presentations in our district, we like to start off by communicating our mission. The Board of Education and Personnel of Jersey Community Unit School District Number 100, in partnership with our students, parents, and community, will provide students the opportunity to achieve their maximum potential through an educational climate that fosters accountability, fiscal responsibility, and excellence while enhancing personal character. In keeping with best practice, we also would like to share our presentation objectives. The purpose of this training is to explain ways to access important technical support information, discuss why us, why now, familiarize parents with rules and procedures which will be expected of students, review internet safety guidelines, and introduce the required use policies and discuss laptop care. Digital conversion is so much more than just handing our laptops to students. This process is something that our district spent an enormous amount of time researching and preparing for. The umbrella of digital conversion covers curriculum, student management, instruction, and infrastructure. Students will utilize e-texts and supplemental sites for some delivery of curriculum and instruction will feature tech-rich lessons, web 2.0 tools, formative assessment, collaboration, and new levels of innovation. The school's infrastructure was revamped to allow for complete Wi-Fi access in all buildings and to help the process of network migration to Google and Microsoft. Students, teachers, and families will reap the benefits of this groundwork as we explore the new possibilities, take advantage of Google Drive and all that it has to offer, and better communicate through the use of Skyward and Family Access. Even online registration is now just a click away. If you are looking to access more important information related to our digital conversion, you are always just a few clicks away. Please visit www.jersey100.org to access the link. Today's learners have grown up in a digital world. We have cell phone, the internet, multi-dimensional video entertainment, iPods, computers, and we've never seen a TV without a remote control. Your children are hyper communicators, goal planners, multitaskers, experts at using and figuring out technology, and we and we, and we, are active learners, yet students experience a huge gap between their everyday lives and activities when they walk into a classroom. They now use paper, pencils, listen to one person lecture them, read data textbooks, and memorize for a test. Engaging students and making education relevant is critical. Critical for our schools to continue to effectively and fully prepare the citizens and leaders of tomorrow. In case you missed it in the video, here are some notes. Most importantly, we are embarking on this journey because we believe it is the right thing to do. Laptops will come preloaded with a variety of software. They include the basic Microsoft Office software such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and Windows 7 is the operating system. If you have internet access at home, it is important to know that our school filter will continue to filter and monitor web access even when students are away from school. If you do not have internet access at home, we have asked teachers to work with students on an individual basis to print, copy, or download material prior to going home at the end of the day. We will do whatever we can to work around this issue for our students. 
We are always looking to work with businesses and the community to provide internet access. If you click on the digital conversion tab, we referenced earlier in this video on our district site, you can find a list of locations that currently offer open Wi-Fi access. Additionally, we have a teacher available after school at Illini until the activity bus arrives and at the high school where it remains open in the evenings so that students have access when you are carrying your laptop please carry the device in the case provided at all times never walk around with a laptop open or attempt to repair or resolve technical issues we have help desk access every day for students who have these issues all laptops are the property of the district and entrusted to the students to benefit their education To carry your laptop, lay the backpack on its back, insert the laptop in the back pocket, and secure it with a Velcro strap. To properly wear the backpack, Place both straps over your shoulders and connect the buckle located in between them. When arriving to a classroom, make sure you put your laptop at your desk before you place your backpack in the appropriate backpack area. Students should never leave their laptop or charger unattended. They should never eat or drink near the laptop and should avoid getting any moisture in the openings. Be extremely careful when using the device around young children or pets. Before you go to bed, make sure to close any windows, shut down correctly, and plug in to charge for the next day. Students will receive training on the use of the laptop during the first week of school and throughout the year. Students will receive ongoing training on internet safety throughout their education. This device is a tool for expanding educational opportunities for the 21st century student. Suggested internet safety guidelines. Never give out personal information. Never share passwords with anyone. Never arrange a face-to-face -face meeting. Do not open an email if you do not know who sent it. Don't click on banner ads or pop-up ads on websites. 
Never use bad language or send threatening emails. Although we have software that is installed on our server that will filter students at school and at home, it is suggested that parents set and enforce rules for home internet use. Suggestions include keeping the computer in a common room away from the bedroom. Parents should ask and know students' usernames and passwords. Students should never be allowed to clear computer history. All students should allow access to parents to their emails. Students will continue to be reminded that threatening emails should never be sent and they should avoid opening spam email or attachments they are unsure about. Please talk with your child about their use of social media. At school, we will utilize a social network that is education-based called Edmodo. It is very similar to Facebook, but strictly controlled by teachers and only available to invited members of a classroom. Social networking sites are blocked on our network and will be filtered at school and at home. When we deploy our laptops, all students will go through a training process that will include a discussion of our required use policy. This policy is available for viewing under the digital conversion tab we discussed earlier on our district site and online within the student handbook link. Just like a textbook in the past or a school locker, district administrators have the right and responsibility to check information on the laptops when there is a reasonable suspicion of inappropriate use. Students are permitted to use these district-owned devices for educational purposes. Students will know prior to getting their laptops that it will be a violation of the required use policy if they bypass the filter, meaning finding a way to go to a site that has previously been blocked. If they use another student's username or password, if they share passwords, or download or install personal software without permission or if they tamper with hardware. If there is ever a doubt about whether or not a parent or student should do something to or with the computer, please communicate with the teacher or the help desk to get clarification. Some reminders to keep the laptops damage free include never leave them unattended. Keep food, drinks, pets, and babies away from the laptop. Never use the laptop at lunch unless it is in a designated safe area and never leave the laptop in a vehicle. Here in the Midwest with our cold winters and warm summers, this can cause severe damage to laptops and should be avoided. The technology fee for all students is $85 unless the student qualifies for free or reduced lunches. In that case, it would be reduced to $75. Students will receive a $525 Lenovo laptop loaded with software and curriculum products and a $100 Brent Haven backpack. Unfortunately, the technology fee will not cover damage to the laptop if the damage is due to not following the required use policy. If the laptop is dropped, the Lenovo warranty will be void, and if you leave the device or charger unattended and someone walks away with it, you will be responsible for the device. If the laptop is stolen, a police report must be filed and submitted to the school, and we will work with you and the authorities to help replace the device.